pretty Hey y'all, my name is Nat. I hope you're having a terrific day today. And for this video, we are going to be revisiting a few of my book hauls. All right, before we get into anything bookish, make sure to hit like and subscribe down below, as well as tell me in the comments what was the last book that you bought and read. We're going to be revisiting a few of my book hauls to see, do I actually read the books I buy? Sometimes. <laughs> Specifically, we're going to be looking at my first and second quarter book haul from 2022, meaning we're pushing two years of these books being on my shelf. I really should have read them by now. All right, so have this little fun setup here. Starting right into the video, first one, The Ravens by Kaz Morgan and Daniel Page. I have, in fact, read this, thankfully. It was fine. I ended up unhauling it after I read it, I believe. Then, Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen. Just recently got this off my unread TBR. <laughs> Thank God for that, honestly. Yinka, Where's Your Husband by Lizzie Demolola Blackburn. I haven't read it at this point, but it is on my April TBR. Fingers crossed, she will be read here soon. Love and Other Disasters by Anita Kelly. Thankfully, I have read this one. Uh, it is actually still on my owned shelves, but not on TBR, baby. Let's go. Really, though, I want to get my hands on the second book in the series, but I haven't been able to find a copy anywhere. Every time I go to Barnes & Noble and check, they never have it. The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. I think I read this one relatively recently after I got it, actually, because Simone St. James was an author I really enjoyed and I had read from her before, so thankfully didn't stay on my own TBR for long. The Dark Tide by Alicia Jasinska, another one I just recently read <laughs> earlier this year, so thankfully off of TBR. Watch Over Me by Nina LaCour. I have read, luckily. I like this one. I think I still own it pretty Could y'all hear that? I don't know what Sam's meowing at. He just came in and meowed. <laughs> we are okay. Technically, this wasn't on my own TBR. I actually borrowed it from Josh, but I have read it. Finally gave it back to him. It was on my shelves for quite some time. Anthropocene Reviewed, I did read in nonfiction November. So luckily, finally got that one read. Another that I definitely took a long time to get to it, but Glad I finally did. Well Played by Jen DeLuca, have read. I've actually read this entire series. Lady Killers by Tori Telfer, have also read. I really wanna get around to her other book, Confident Women, which is actually about con women. That sounds really interesting, but yep, this one off my TBR. Wow, we are doing really good, guys. Hopefully I didn't just jinx us. <laughs> oh God. Yikes. The Beauty Myth by Naomi Wolf. I attempted to read this earlier this year and DNF'd it, have since unhauled. Hood Feminism by Mickey Kendall. I actually read pretty quickly after buying it because I really wanted to get around to it. I had heard so many positive things and I was really interested in just reading about intersectionality feminism. Th that didn't make sense, but sorry, I got distracted by Sam once again, meowing very dramatically. Intersectional feminism. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. I also have read this one. It was ridiculous and funny and dark and worked very well for my sense of humor, though I have learned since then that um, Jimmy Lawson's comedy style does not work for everyone. Also have read Ace by Angela Chen. Oh my God, guys, we're doing so good. From Here to Eternity by Caitlin Dowdy. I had actually already read this and ended up buying my own copy because I loved it so much. It was so good. It's definitely a book that I want to get around to rereading. Good Girl, Bad Blood. Somebody was very kind and bought me this edition off of my Amazon wish list because I wanted the paperback, but it wasn't actually out in the American cover art yet. And I did not realize that this was the British cover art when I was initially looking at it. So the di dimensions were all different. Ended up buying the American version and I have read it. It's still on my shelves because I, I do really enjoy that duology. <laughs> Small Sacrifices by Anne Rule. I found in a little free library. Great find. I did read this. I'm not gonna say I really liked it because it's a very dark topic, but it was a very interesting read and I was glad to finally try out some of Anne Rule's stuff, though it probably will be returning to another little free library, seeing as how it's unlikely I will ever reread it. And the rest of this is the unhaul portion. Oh my God, <laughs> guys, one book is unread. And even then, I, hopefully I will get it read this month. 
Maybe by the time you're watching this video, I've already read it. That would be fantastic if so. Let's swap on over to second quarter book haul. Uh, book lovers, I specifically went and bought this and read it. I think I it was already all annotated, so I, I had already read it by the time I was talking about it in this video. An Enchantment of Ravens, I actually bought this technically for a friend. She wanted the specific edition and it was at a half price near me. So I went and bought it for her, told her I was gonna read it first. Did, was not a big fan, so had no qualms with giving it right to her. Ah, <laughs> uh, A Man Called Ova. Yes, I've read it. Love it. It's facing out of my shelves for a reason. Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. Have read this one as well. Also really enjoyed it. Ironically, those two books are very similar, which I did point out in my A Man Called Ova review. Just one's a dude and one's a woman. <laughs> the Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. Unfortunately, no, I have not read this. I do really want to get around to it. It is only a duology. I've heard a lot of positive things about this from Sam Donovan. It is a 1001 Arabian Nights retelling and also YA enemies to lovers fantasy romance. So up my alley and I just haven't picked it up. Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. Gillian Flynn? I'm still not sure which way you pronounce her name. Unfortunately, no, I have not read this. I do want to try out a lot of this author's work, including Gone Girl, um, even though I already know the twists there, but I still want to try and read it. It just hasn't happened yet though. Wow, okay, apparently I jinxed us by getting so excited about the first one. Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Penborough. No, I haven't read it. Since buying it, I've actually heard more negative reviews on it and that it's very much a domestic thriller, which I, I, like, I don't mind domestic thrillers, but they're not something that drags me in a ton. Oh, so no, unfortunately no. Though I have read Thick by Tressie McMillan Cotton. Did like this one. It is on my nonfiction shelf. Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I have read this one. This was actually one of the books that uh, was passed around between my friends. We all annotated it. I don't remember who owns this copy actually, but I have read it. It was fine. It's it's not a favorite for me. Um, just not my type of writing style. Kaikea by Vaishnavi Patel. Have read, in fact. I really hope y'all can hear this meowing and see how pitiful Sam is being. I don't know what he's meowing at. <laughs> Darling Girl by Liz Michalski, unfortunately a book of the month that I regretted. It was fine. That, that's, that's what I got for you. It was fine. Have read, have since on hold. The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. This I have not read, unfortunately. It is the first in a fantasy series. I've heard mid things, though some people really do enjoy it and the descriptions of it I've heard do still make it sound like it's very much up my alley. But given the fact that it's the first book in a trilogy and the only one out, I don't mind putting this one off a little bit more just because like I have so many other series I still need to read that are already out. And, like, yeah, like I, I can deal with this one still being on my own TBR. Mythos by Stephen Fry. I had already read by the point that I was talking about it in this video. <laughs> However, I hadn't read Heroes yet, though I since have. I am currently caught up on this series actually, though I only own the first two books. I still need to get my hands on Troy. And then I believe the fourth one, the Odyssey is going to be coming out in October. The Silent Wife by Karen Slaughter. No, I have not read this one, but I didn't know at the time that this is actually the 10th book in a series. It's one of those like crime procedurals, so I don't I don't think you necessarily have to read every single one of them to follow the plot line, though I have heard it's recommended to do so just because of like the character development. And the rest of this is unhaul. Oh my god. I actually did pretty well. I mean, this the second quarter was a little rougher, but I still did pretty well across the board here, guys. This is fantastic. Only six books on red. If only those were the only six books on my TBR, I would feel fantastic about myself. <laughs> Very least, this is a reminder to me what books I really should probably try and get around to here soon. All right, and on that note, that is it for today, y'all. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit like and subscribe down below, as well as if you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave me the book stack emoji in the comments. All my socials, as well as a few ways you can support me, I've linked in the description down below. I come out videos on Monday and Friday, but until then, I hope you continue to have a terrific day. Love you, bye!